Hello, Gamer Nome is back. And in this video, I'm going to show you my list of top 5 best grinding fruits in Black Fruits. But before we start, you can show your support by using star code Gamer Nome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. Where the actor slam on the dancing forward, there's your slam, there's the dump. Okay, and let me start off with a question. Yes, for you. What is the best fruit for grinding in the first C? Guys, I'm going to give you 10 seconds to answer. For the best answer, I will pin you and also give you a shout out on my next video. By the way, guys, I will base my top 5 on 3 things. Here are those three. First off is speed. How fast can you get quests? How fast can you lure? And how fast can you travel? Next up is the damage. Guys, higher damage is equals to faster grind and faster boss kills. And last but not the least is rarity, guys. Even if it is the best fruit for grinding, if you don't have it, it's useless, right? Yes. Yes. Just a reminder, this list is in the first C, meaning our stats won't be like this, but we'll start from level 1. This is also a factor on me choosing my top 5 fruits for grinding, okay? So without further ado, here are my top 5 fruits for grinding. Number 5 is the smoke fruit yes guys as we all know this fruit just had a revamp on the previous update update 17.3 first off guys this is an elemental fruit which again is very good for grinding if your enemy doesn't have hockey they cannot hit you next up the smoke bomber guys check this fruit out a level 24 player is about to destroy level 525 mobs yes guys you heard correctly so for the speed i will rate it as fair also for the damage guys i think it's also fair guys check this out the damage that we've inflicted on this level 500 plus mobs reached 12,000. That's really high and guys in terms of grinding, grinding with this fruit is really fast. Okay gamer no, so grinding mobs with this fruit is really good. How about bosses? Guys check this out, a level 500 boss the whisper is no match for a level 49 smoke fruit user. Guys you can just use your F skill to defeat him. By the way I made a whole video of this level 1 to 700 using smoke fruit. I will put the link on the upper right side of the screen. Lastly the rarity guys. This fruit is very easy to get. It is a common fruit and it only costs 100,000 bellies. So if you're looking for a low budget fruit for grinding this is the fruit. Next up our rank 4 fruit. And if you guessed the ice fruit, guys, you are correct. This is our number 4 rank. Why Gamer Nom? First of all, it has M1 left clicks. You can use for luring and damaging. Guys, check it out. There you go. I'm luring them. And also, I will damage them using my left clicks. Also, guys, this is an elemental fruit. Again, they cannot hit you if you have enough levels. Okay, Gamer Nom. So how about boss fights? Check this out, guys. We are going to defeat the Vice Admiral in just 7 seconds. Is that good enough? Check it out guys, just left click, wall strat and some skills. 7 seconds, not bad. Guys, also for the stats, you can focus on blast fruits because again, most of the mobs will not be able to hit you in the first C. So guys, for the grading, damage is fair, okay? For the speed, it's slow guys, it doesn't have any skill to make you faster. For the rarity, it is uncommon and it will cost you 350,000 to get it when in stock. And also guys, one more thing, you can awaken this fruit and the awakening is really good. For our top 3 fruit, we have the magma fruit. I know you've been waiting for this. So aside from having low mastery requirement to unlock skills, also another plus is it is elemental. Again, I'm gonna repeat. Mouse that has no hockey cannot damage you. And finally, the magma floor that can be unlocked at Master 10. It can defeat mobs, bosses. I have a video of that. Level 1 to 700. Just using the magma floor. Take note that I'm just talking about the magma floor. How about the other skills such as the magma meteor? Guys, the damage of this skill is really high. So for the rating, guys, the speed of this fruit is only its downside. It's really slow. But... For the damage, one of the highest damaging fruit. Okay, damage is high. And last but not the least, guys, this is a rare fruit 
that will cost you 850,000 when you buy it. Or our top two fruit. Guys, I know that you will rank this as your number one, but here it is, the Buddha fruit. Guys, let's be honest, you will just use one skill to transform and most of the time you will use your combat, right? So in short, this fruit cannot stand on its own. But again, if we're talking about grinding, this is a good way to really grind again using your combat skill combined with the transform of the Buddha fruit. Again, we are talking about blocks fruits, but you will put most of your stats on the melee stats. And one negative thing is you cannot use the fountain strat. Check this out. There you go. But let's talk about the good stuff. Boss fights, it's very easy, guys. Check this out. Uh, Gorilla King, just use your left clicks and everything will be fine. Gamer Nom, how about high level enemies? Guys, check this out. I am fighting the cyborg at level 700. We're still gonna use left clicks. So for the damage, it's fair because we're only using combat. The speed is slow. This is the main reason why it is only rank second and for the rarity this is a legendary fruit that cost 1.2 million belly so this is not easy to get but one advantage of this fruit on all the other fruits in my top five is you can use this fruit in the third c yes until you reach max level you can just use left clicks to defeat all bosses guys take note even raid bosses you can defeat them solo yes you can defeat them one on one so by now guys, I know that you know my rank 1 or top 1 fruit for grinding is the light fruit. Why gamer gnome? Guys, it's not just level 1. Guys, imagine level 1, you can go in the Fountain City and defeat the Gali Pirates, which will give you lots of experience. You will reach level 23 at that. And after that, you can use your light fruit to travel really fast. So again, the speed is fast for this fruit. Next up is it has its own M1 or left click. Guys, you can use this to lure your enemies. This fruit is also elemental or loge in effect, meaning you don't need to dodge enemies. Not compared to the Buddha fruit, which you need to dodge. Yes, you also need to dodge or dash to the side or create distance. Okay, next up, you can always use wall strat and combine it with your left clicks. Also with your skills. Guys, take note, you only need 100 mastery to unlock all the skills. Yes, you can apply it in the prison. Also in the underwater city, the boss there. There you go. You can also use left clicks here and wall strat. Also again, the light flight will give you a big advantage on saving time. Again, to get more quests. Also, it is good for running. Check this out. Someone tried to bully me. Someone with the CDK in the first C. <laughs> For the damage of this fruit, I will rate it as fair, but again, you will put all your stats on the Blox fruits instead of putting it on the defense because again, your fruit is elemental. Lastly, for the rarity of this fruit, this is rare and will cost you 650000 to get it when in stock. So guys, do you agree with my list? of top 5 grinding fruits if yes comment it in the comment section if you have a better list comment it on the comment section and i hope that you learned something from this video again to all the viewers subscribers supporters i really appreciate you all this is gamer nom and gamer nom out